All right, before it gets to be 90 degrees and 90% humidity, I'm gonna to try to reduce this down a little bit more. I'll be using mainly indirect percussion, but I will not be thinning it down really thin. Why? Because I don't wanna break it and I'm getting a little tired of making kitchen knives. I think I want to make some fighting knives. I might do some pressure flaking on it with the Ishi stick later, or maybe. It's very high quality up on top, so so at the bottom or underneath. There's a patch of concrete in it, and I got a big old flake in the glove somewhere in the, there it is. All right. I kind of leave, I kind of want to leave the, the stem nice and thick like this. <clears throat> Not kind of, I think I will. Just make it more narrow and then thin out the tip. Thin the distal end and leave the proximal end thick. Now thinking of selling some of my, some more of my natural material tools. Thinking of getting rid of these. I gotta think of something else because I'm getting frustrated. Whenever I get frustrated with my <clears throat> natural tools, that's when something happens. <coughs> when am I gonna start napping? When I figure out what I'm gonna use. I, I did some repair work on my tools this morning with the wood rasp. And if it looks like I just turned the camera on and don't know what I'm going to do, that's exactly what happens. I just, if I don't sit down, force the camera in front of myself, and just turn it on, not, I don't get it done that day. So, I just kind of wing it. I was dressing this up here you know, a little while ago. Anyway, yeah, I'm tired of making kitchen knives. They sell well. You know, the thin, thin large blades, <coughs> material costs are sky high. It's about 30 bucks a piece for the materials on those. Each, each, yep. If you're wondering what I'm doing with all my YouTube riches and wealth from my monetization, I'm buying rocks. Oh yes. Is it a whole lot of money that I'm getting? Not really. I could be making a lot more sitting behind a desk doing drawings of machinery. Oh yes. <clears throat> I make about 200 and something a day doing that. <coughs> 200 and some depending on what industry I work for. If I work for the oil industry, I make a lot more than if I work for the architectural firms. And I gotta move to an urban area here in New England if I want a, if I want a high paying job. <clears throat> of course I can I can commute an hour and a half a day. <coughs> but who wants to do that? Especially around here, especially in winter. No thank you. Is this gonna am I gonna do this full time? This flint napping stuff full time? Heck no. <laughs> I 
I gotta figure out some other way. Yeah. YouTube channel? You think that I can expand my YouTube channel enough to get a bunch of viewers? I don't I don't think so. Unless I I mean I'm gonna expand into woodworking, but that's not gonna be enough. We will see. We shall see. If I get frustrated enough, I'll just go back to work. Do this on a part-time basis. Have Kevin move up from Texas. Go get a house and stop living the van life. I don't know, not yet. My daughter says, yeah, you can take Kevin. Yeah, you can take Kevin. I don't even see him anyway. I'm over in college. I said, yeah, don't tempt me. If I take that little dog up here, he'll have to stay in the van with me and I'll be coughing and sneezing and allerging all over the van. No, thank you. <clears throat> yes, I am allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to anything with fur. Basically. Why do I start with whomping on the ends? Why do I start with hitting in the most risky spot? Well, it's not going to be any thicker than it is right now, so I might as well do it now before it gets too thin. All you guys who are imagining what I could be doing with these tools. Just get yourself some Georgetown. Some of it is not that great quality. Some of it is. And start napping it with the techniques that you're thinking about using. And see how it is. Yeah. I think you'll be surprised by the ineffectual The ineffectual imaginations that you have in your thought experiments. Once you start putting them to the test, you'll see. But you're not going to see until you start doing it. A lot of you are not going to start doing it. You're going to go, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to watch other people do it and then... If they don't do it the way my thought experiment looks like, I'm going to comment some stupid stuff. Yeah, that's what I like doing. Yeah, I know. I know that's what you like doing. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is whitetail antler, very tough. This has got the bone attached. Sometimes I like having part of the skull attached. Sometimes I don't like it, but it's it makes it larger and less curvy if you got some bone skull attached to the end of the antler. Uh, yeah, grinding it all down is better though. Getting rid of some of that skull. There you go. Getting rid of some of that skull so that it doesn't break up. It breaks a little bit differently than a tine or a beam of antler. The bone uh, kind of crumbles like a bad, bad hammerstone. Yeah, I'm going to start doing this a little differently. Oh, yes. I'm still going to use a lot of the indirect percussion to drive the antler people crazy. And keep using smaller and smaller hammer stones to drive the antler people crazy. But this, as far as this grinding every few minutes and sharpening every few minutes or reworking the 
the ends of my tools. I got to do something else besides that. I got to do something else. Can't be sitting there doing so too much grinding, so that half my half of my time is spent grinding. Of course, I could have my assistant do the grinding. Yeah. Why am I working on this stem when I said I was going to leave it nice and thick? Because I'm trying to make it symmetrical. Working on the symmetry. Okay. And trying to get used to these tools. I just jumped right in back into natural tools. Yeah. Because if I, if I didn't just jump right in and wing it, I was never going to do it. Because it's not like it's a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is a good idea. Everyone wants to learn the old ways. Come on, come on. Yeah. It's the best way. Oh, yeah. The fact that you're napping is good enough I think just the fact that you're flint napping put you in the mindset that hey man I can make something out of stuff that's from nature and I, I even when I say that funny I'm, I'm not really joking you know it's it's pretty cool that you can just pick up rocks and sticks and sustain your life with them you don't need to get a student loan to pick up a rock and learn how to chip it. All right, let's see. Funny how society seems to want to advance humanity, but all it does is it substitutes what we normally would do with something that benefits a few. Yeah. Something that the majority of us would benefit from is narrowed down to something that benefits a few. Funny how that works. Oh yes, and they, they did that back in the day as well. I don't think that's a whole new concept. All these monuments and pyramids and stuff, that was to benefit a few. You narrow it down to something everyone can do to benefit a few. All right, let's see. Yeah, direct percussion. Gonna give me a concussion. Because it's gonna drive me nuts. But I'm trying to regularize it. Regularize it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Some of you guys are saying, no, you know, those big monuments and stuff, they were... They were used to employ people and raise their standard of living because the ruler would have to give them money. Oh yeah. Sure. The ruler and his uh, Praetorian guard. Yeah, they give you money. Yeah, sure. They're, they're good guys. Hey everybody, I'll give you money if you build my temple. Me and my personal bodyguard over here. That uh, is so strong, no one can kill me. Yeah, I'm a generous guy. Don't have to worry about doing anything wrong because, well, no one can touch me because I have my personal bodyguard. So that makes me do only good things. Yeah. I only do good things when I'm immune to people assassinating me. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't believe it if they uh, tell you that workers were paid in the past. Yeah. There's only one system that pays workers. You know what that is? You know what it is. Yeah, that's the one that uh, everyone hates. It's funny how that works. It's a system that everyone seems to hate, but it's the only one that pays workers. The market value or what they're worth as far as skills go. There's only one system that does that. But it seems to be hated. Imagine that. It's hated because it can be abused. Yes, indeed. Everything can be abused. And I'm going to say this a lot. That abuse is the root of evil. Not anything else. It's abuse. Abuse is the root of evil. No one ever says that because they don't want you to know. Where the heck is my... I'm going to switch to indirect percussion. Another root of evil. The Andrew people will say, It's not right. Looks odd. Evil. Especially when you use metals with it. It's not like the natives had a copper culture or anything. What? Nothing. No, 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 no. What is that copper culture? Is that like, uh, is that a band? No. Copper culture is the time period or the thing in history when Native Americans were using copper for all sorts of things before the European crud heads came over. Really? Yeah, look it up, dude. I'm going to say that too. I'm going to... I'm going to say that over and over and over again. Copper culture. South America, Central America, North America. Look it up. Now, they didn't use copper for their indirect percussion. They don't even have indirect percussion. Yeah, probably did not use it for this. But the pressure flaking, now there you go, that's something that you can sink your teeth into, so to speak. What the heck went, what did it do? It's not, it didn't mess up because the antler is inconsistent, right? Couldn't be that, so wonky. It's got this pit in the middle, but that doesn't have hurt nothing. It's better. It's better than aluminum. Yeah. Just got to be smarter. More talented. You can get, get this done so that it looks easy. Yeah, you guys are making it look easy. You're not doing anybody any favors. You know that, right? Yes, you're doing me a favor because it looks great and I get satisfied because I'm entertained. Yeah, I know. I know that. I know. Believe me, I know. So for the few of you who, you know, you get your Snickers bar and you sit there and you go, hmm, two entertainments at once. <clears throat> What's next? Oh, I can do the split screen. I can watch. I can watch many things at once. It's one thing about modern technology, you can do many things at once nowadays. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the first thing people are going to do when they start to get integrated with AI. They're not going to do only one thing at a time. They're going to do multiple things. Because that's what makes them not bored. Yeah.
they're not going to learn stuff. They're just going to do stuff. Several things at the same time to overwhelm their brains. Because they get bored. Yeah. Boredom is good. Why? Because you can actually sit down and listen to what's going on around you. You know? Listen with your ears instead of listening with your eyes. What does that even mean, dude? Shut up. <laughs> You'll figure it out. There's parts of your body designed for certain things, okay? Ears are designed for listening. Eyes are designed for seeing. When when you switch them around, things get kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, but they love it. They get bored if they use it for the right things. It's boring, boring, boring. Yeah. So I'm watching flint napping videos. Watching some guy talking smack about people. No, I'm talking smack about crazy people. You want to call them people? All right. But it's not people in general. Yeah, but you shouldn't talk about crazy people, not only because they have a handicap, but because you sound crazy when you talk about crazy people. Yeah, I know. Sound crazy. If you talk about crazy, you sound crazy. That's their... That's when they get you. You know, you can't call them out because then you sound crazy. Hey, that guy over there has got some kind of weird relationship with reality. Nah, dude, you got a weird relationship with reality. Where'd you come up with that stupid saying? No, 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 no. You can't even talk about the people who have a very strange relationship with reality. This doesn't make doesn't seem to make any sense. Yeah. What is this stone? This is a this is a sandstone. I think. Or a volcanic stone. Maybe it's silicified ash. <laughs> no. But it's some kind of porous, lightweight, <clears throat> gritty stone. Where's my other? I got a bunch of grindy stuff. And if you're watching, Jay, I want to send you some of this volcanic weird stuff from the streams of Vermont. This is much heavier. Feels like it's made of iron, this stuff here, compared to this. Super, this is super heavy, but it's all kind of conglomerate-ish. I don't know. It looks like it should be porous, but it's not lightweight. All right, let's see. I got 20, I got seven more minutes on this. I can just continue doing what I was doing, right? All I'm doing is I'm looking for opportunistic places, not thinking about it too much, and removing flakes where I can. With indirect percussion, very slowly, imparting lots of jokes and one-liners music reviews news of the day weather and news of the day while i'm doing this right ah man you were talking about crazy people yeah for those of you just tuning in which i know you are you missed it <laughs> All right, no, but uh, some of you guys figured it out already. You know, the uh, the viewership doesn't stay steady. Some of you had the guys had to take a bathroom break or make a sandwich during the video. So, you, you know, I guess you pause it or whatever and then come back. So the viewing goes up and down, up and down. And when everyone needs to go to the bathroom at the same time, 
there's a big dip in my graph and I'm going, what the heck happened there? Was that a volcano or an earthquake and everyone ran for shelter? What the heck, man? No, it's just everyone needs to go to the bathroom at the same time. Yeah. That's the collective unconscious, the zeitgeist, right? <laughs> what is that, dude? Now what are you getting into? Some crazy people stuff again? Is that some kind of related to crazy people? Well, no, crazy people come up with stuff like that. And they name it all scientific. And just because it's all scientific and they got the they have a micro they have a microscope in their laboratory. It's science. Oh yeah. Science. Oh, and they put a little white coat on lab coat just to make it look professional oh yes science it's all about the coats man it's all about the, the fancy lab coats forget all the other stuff forget about critical rationalism Forget about physics. Forget about quantum mechanics. Forget about statistical analysis. Forget about all that stuff. It's all about the lab coats, me. The microscopes and the lab coats and them thumbnails with people that look smart with these nice glasses. Yeah. The glasses and the lab coat, man. That's science. All right. I don't know, I can't seem to get the edges cleaned up. Yeah, I know, to use pressure. Use pressure to clean up the edges. Yes, I know. I am a flint napper. I know these things. I sh maybe I should say stuff like, I know I should be doing this, but I'm going to do this other thing instead. Right? Yeah, what if I do that, you'll find out how many shortcuts I try to take. Yeah, but you said there's no shortcuts in flint napping. What's up? Yeah, I can just hear it. I'm, you know, the human brain wants to take a shortcut because it doesn't want to spend the whole day going, hmm, let's see, platform, is that low enough? Nope. Adjust the platform. Is it abraded enough? No. Nope. Abraded properly. Are these flakes traveling past halfway? No. Increase power and direction of force. You know, the brain gets tired of doing that sort of thing the whole day. It'd rather go, you know what? I saw a deer the other day up on that hill. I bet you I can set a trap, put a little piece of a little piece of fruit from my wife's garden over there in the trap. And the next time I see that deer, he's going to be stuck in the noose with his leg caught in the noose. And I'm going to run up there and I'm going to go with my knife. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're thinking about. So how do I get this knife sharpened up? That's what they're thinking about. And what my, wife, my wife's going to look at it. <clears throat> when are you going to make me a nice cutting knife? That one is too thick. And then you'll say to yourself, <laughs> all the more for me. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yes. She don't like it. I think I'm onto something. All right, here we go. Let's see. I need to do some pressure flaking. Yeah. I don't want to do it. I delayed it long enough. I got two minutes to do, one minute to do pressure flaking. And then I'm off to do something else. It's already getting hot in the van. And yes, I'm in the van, as you can see. It's my little workshop back here. Oh, yes. I can travel anywhere at any time. I can park anywhere at any time. I can nap at 1 a.m. or 5 a.m. anywhere I want. I can go down by the river. I can 
I can be uh, doing my laundry in the laundromat parking lot. I can be at the I can be at the local ice cream shop. Yeah, where everyone's eating ice cream that I don't eat anymore. Why would you go there, dude? <clears throat> well, you get to see everyone who lives in town for one thing. They're not around here anyway. You know, so that's where they've all been hiding. All these people. They don't see them except at the ice cream place. Yeah. They could be down there. Of course, everyone would look at me like, What is he doing back there? In the back of that van, I hear chipping and talking to himself. They don't know I got a camera, right? I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to my YouTubers, not myself. I wouldn't say this kind of stuff to myself. <laughs> Are you crazy? Anyway, I think I'll continue this on the next segment because I really didn't want to start pressure flaking yet. I'm going to set up outside probably for this next stage. Yeah, because now the chips won't fly and they won't get into the kiddie pool. Supposedly. I got it flattened out kind of enough. All right, that's it.